Welcome back folks, my name is Anthony Valentine the Camper Nerd. Today I'm going to be showing you around this 2004 Trigano Tribute. It's on the Fiat Ducato chassis 2.3 turbo diesel. Uh, it's 2004 so that makes it 18 years old. We've got four former keepers, will you make it number five? Yeah, it's in uh, nice condition all around really. It's got just over a month's MOT on it so it makes sense to wake, wait a week or two and then the remaining days will be added onto the MOT for the new owner. I'll take it in for an MOT and any jobs that it may require will uh, get checked over and will get uh, attended to, so it'll come with a new MOT. Yeah, it's got everything this. It's got the two bike rack Fiorma bike rack carrying there that just pops out here. I'll just show you there. The genuine Fiorma bike rack. That just clips back into place and this little hole steady holds it nice and tight into firm there's one um, attachment there and there's also one inside the bike inside the bike inside the motorhome under the seat for the second attachment you've got the fridge vents here uh, you've got the mains hook up exhaust flue for the Truma uh, heating system oh no that's it's got a diesel heating system so that's for the hot water um, We've got the fresh water inlet. I've just got the seats swiveled round, but everything's okay. Just a little bit of word. On the edge here, you can see where they put some seat covers on. There's just a little bit of fraying on the edge. It doesn't appear to have gone any further, but just a little bit of fraying on that edge, hence the seat covers. Now, there is a trick that we in the industry use. If you did want to pay extra and was very fussy and you wanted that back to the original seats, we could use a bit of trim, cut a bit of trim off the back of one of the back matching seats and the upholsterer can have that fitted. Well, that's something if you're extra fussy, that can be looked into an extra cost, of course. Oh, while we're here, we'll just look under the bonnet. It's got all the mats, uh, we've got mats there. Someone's put an overlay mat over the original Trigano carpets. So it's all there and looked after. I'm just looking under the bonnet. So the worst on the body, it's just, this is, that's the worst here. It's a little dimple there. I think we'll forgive it for 18 years old, but that's about the worst. And there you go, 2.3 turbo diesel, it does go well. Um, just I came to it once and it's just a little bit slow to start, so I've put you a brand new engine battery on and I know the habitation guy picked up on the leisure battery uh, being a little bit low, so you've also had a 110 amp leisure battery heavy duty. So you've got a new leisure battery inside and a new engine battery. Okay, slowly walking around, it's got the Fiorma F65S awning, that fully works. You've got an electric step now. I must admit, that just seemed a little bit temperamental to me. I'll just ask, perhaps it just wants a bit of a grease or something, but you press this button here, out it comes. Just wait a bit, press the button again. Ah, I missed it then. You just have to wait a second for it to come out. So it's a good demonstration now. And uh, I can't seem to work it out. There you go. So you can see what I mean there. It always comes in and out, but sometimes you just have to wait a second. I'll have that looked at. Uh, we've got a tow bar, single socket electrics. Of course, we've got the Fiorma cassette. Everything's working and it's presentable. It's a bit tricky to open it. I'll try with the camera, but it is a bit tricky. There we go. That's the fit for the set. Oh, the last owner's left you uh, some blue chemicals. Okay. Yeah, it does drive well, this. Everything's a five-speed turbo diesel power steering, electric mirrors, electric windows. I'll be happy to deliver this anywhere in the United Kingdom and uh, get the train back after a small deposit. All viewing or collection is most welcome here at L408JG. My name's Anthony Valentine. 
0798 526 1078 with any questions. Just having a quick look in the passenger side. And it's got, a, as you see, both the front chairs swivel round. Okay, let's open the side. It's lovely inside, it's absolutely spotless. Uh, so the last owner's left you a micro table here. That can be erected there to make an extra, if you wanted, with the large double bed, it would actually be a massive queen size with these two chairs in that way, with that little micro table taking up that space. Uh, we've got the control panel above here. So we've got a side seat there, a forward facing rear seat with a three point seat belt. We just put some lights on. It's got the end rear kitchen. And as I say, everything is testing out perfect. Spotless hobs, four gas burner. We've got a grill, three way fridge. And everything's working as it should be. 12 volt when you're driving, mains on the hookup or gas if you're wild camping. Totally spotless. Kitchen sink, blackout blinds, as well as fly nets throughout. And all the lights are working. Well, really, let's have a look in the bathroom. Toilet's been sanitised, but it's absolutely spotless throughout. So you've got the hot and cold tap here. That operates as a tap. Push and pull that. And then if you pull that down, that's then operating as a shower unit and that will pull out. A large mirror there. It's got a privacy door here. So that just enables you to bring that round. And that means you can get changed in this area in the day with just pulling that up there and you've got a little privacy area without having to pull the curtains out. Lots of main sockets if you're on the mains uh, hookup. Large wardrobe, TV booster. This is plugged in now so this will operate the TV and that's all working and I've checked it. So you've got the TV booster aerial working, and the channel's working. This actually is an extra little table, pull out there with an extra main socket. Lots of little features in this. Cupboard space above, or below rather, the wardrobe. Cupboard space above the hob and grill. No oven in this model, so you've just got extra storage space. Four gas burner and the grill. And everything's thought about. So you've got a, a three standing table, when I'm saying a three standing table, you've got a leg there that will go in there, Fiorma leg that's above the cab. Um, and you can get a tripod if you wanted to use that table outside. But everything's got its own little designated place. Look at this. So there's, if I just pull the cushion out there, that's where the large table lives. The small table is above the cab camera can thing but there's the small table that's the leg I was talking about extra filling cushion we've got some foil covers for the front windscreens extras so to make the bed up this one slides across there and then this area is filled in by the small table that's above the cab and this little area here is filled in by the table that is behind that panel there and then that really does make up a very large, I've done some pictures in the advert. Incidentally, the advert link will be below this, will be below this video and that'll show you where it's advertised. We'll pick up the phone 0798 526 1078. Plenty of storage space. So you've got, uh, in there you've got all the workings, you've got the boiler, um, the pump, and this one I believe has got a diesel eater. Yes, it has. So that operates off the diesel in the fuel tank. How good is that? 
So we just put that on full and then that'll ignite and have hot blown air through there and that operate, that's an expensive system that Trigano's fitted and that operates off the diesel in the fuel tank. And that's the large freshwater onboard tank. Again, more storage space there, but I can see that the, uh, the tools and the jack are underneath there. Underneath this cupboard, this small size seat, is the large heavy duty 110 amp leisure battery. No, everything's presentable. Uh, now someone, it's got the original Trigano curtains and curtain rail all the way round, but someone has put an extra set of curtains there. So if they didn't want to go to the front, they can just uh, close the curtains. But of course, if you close that curtains there, you're losing that space. So that's up to you how you want it to sleep. Little, uh, nice little shelving unit there. All the cupboards are operational totally spotless this will stand up to a fussy inspection this inside and it looks like all the lights have, are on leds even the interior light that just uh, draws less current from the leisure battery so you could use this off the grid as it were for a lot longer and of course it's got the vents up above opening vents two of those on either side okay so just to recap, this is a 2004 Trigano Tribute. It's on the long wheelbase Fiat 2.3 turbo diesel chassis. My name's Anthony Valentine, the camper nerd. I'll be happy to answer any questions. 0798 526 1078. It's just had a full habitation service, so everything works as it should do inside and it will be coming with a new fresh 12 months MOT. I'll be happy to take viewings or I'll be happy to deliver this myself and get the train back anywhere in the United Kingdom. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on that next video.